Watch us make real ice cream. It's what mass production companies try to imitate. Subscribe and watch a full review of the ice cream maker used in this video. Welcome to Brygen. Enjoy the video. Destem strawberries and cut them into quarters until you have one and a half cups. Keep the remaining strawberries to make another batch of ice cream and for some decoration on your served bowls of ice cream. Use a food processor if you own one. The food processor will partially juice the strawberries, spreading the liquid flavor and red color throughout the mixture. Chop the strawberries so there is a mix of small and medium chunks. You'll have the strawberry juice that you wouldn't normally have if you just chopped them with a knife. Now we're going to make the ice cream base mix. Pour 3 fourths cup of whole milk, 2 thirds cup sugar, and a pinch of salt into a mixing bowl. Use a hand mixer, which is set on low setting, or use a whisk and mix the ingredients together. After a minute, check to see if all the sugar has dissolved. If you still see sugar granules on the spoon, Continue to mix another minute or so until the sugar is dissolved and you no longer see any granules on the spoon. Stir in one and a half cups heavy whipping cream and one and a half teaspoons pure vanilla until blended rich and creamy. Then take your chopped strawberries which have had time to become a little more juicy and stir them into the mixture. Then take a one quart container and pour the mixture into it and place it in the refrigerator overnight. It's the next day and we've taken the mixture out of the refrigerator. You can see that the strawberries have floated to the top. Give the mixture a shake to mix everything together again. The consistency is very runny at this point. Take your frozen canister out of the freezer and place it on the machine base. Place the paddle into the bowl and put the lid on. Turn your machine on and slowly pour the mixture into the bowl. Start a timer counting up. After churning for 6 minutes, you can see that the mixture is beginning to freeze and become firmer. After churning for 12 minutes, you can see that the mixture is firming up nicely and the strawberries are mixing in beautifully. The volume of the mixture will continually expand in the freezer bowl as you get closer to the finish line. The mixture has churned 15 minutes and you can see the level of the ice cream has reached its maximum level to the edge of the bowl room. It's time to turn the machine off and take the lid off. The consistency is more of a soft serve style rather than hard pack style. Some of the other recipe mixtures will come out firmer or softer after they have churned. Now it's time to take the ice cream out of the freezer bowl. This can be a little messy, but fun at the same time. If you want a firmer consistency, place the ice cream in containers and put them in the freezer. And in a couple of hours, you'll be able to enjoy the freshly made hard pack style ice cream. But at this point, I like to keep out a nice bowl of soft serve style for myself after all my trouble. The ice cream toward the bottom of the freezer bowl is firmer than at the top since it is closer to the frozen liquid enclosed in the freezer bowl. Since we have a nice waffle bowl of ice cream, we'll decorate it with a few slices of strawberries and it's ready to serve. At this point, the ice cream is soft serve style. You will get one and a half quarts of ice cream if the ice cream level in the freezer bowl reached the edge of the rim. Some recipe mixtures don't reach this maximum level though. You can only make one batch of ice cream per day because you have to refreeze the freezer bowl, but if you want to make more than one batch, you can purchase additional freezer bowls for approximately $30. Here's how the ice cream comes out after it's been in the freezer overnight. It's now hard pack style ice cream. Add a few slices of strawberries for decoration and you have a delicious bowl of ice cream that's all natural. Go to brygen.xyz or our channel for more fun videos. Thanks for watching.